Well, hello again everybody. I think it's perhaps time for a little update on this uh, Tiger Cub project I've got on the go. And as you'll see this time, no battery charger, no wires leading remotely from the bike. It's all up and running under its own steam. Uh, got it going straight off the alternator into a combined regulator rectifier which we'll talk about some more in a minute. And um, it's starting and running nicely. Uh, subject to me trying it out up and down the road of course so just going to put the camera down for a moment and hopefully demonstrate that it starts and runs nicely and then I'm going to talk some more about what I've done here so I'll put the camera down there hopefully we can see the bike and I'll just try and start it up I won't tickle the carburetor because I've not long had it running. There's no battery on that bike. I know I've got a battery box there, but the, uh, the sum total of the wiring is what you see here. turn the fuel off while I remember and then uh, we'll discuss what I've done regulator rectifier wise now it so happens that I had one of these laying around to hand which I tried on the trials cub replica probably a year or so ago I may have even mentioned it in uh, one of my videos when I was trying to sort out the weird things that that bike was doing right up until the point when I put a battery on it and then after that everything was fine so I left the Xena diode and the rectifier that were original 1960s 1970s sort of things on there and it's working fine but um, I was left with one of these which I thought was faulty because what it did on the Trials Cub replica when I connected it up to the alternator I could get output from it but it seemed to be cutting in too early or at too low a voltage and the bulb I was using to test things was only lighting fairly dimly and I thought well, I've got a faulty regulator rectifier but I tried it on this machine yesterday and I had the uh, battery charger hooked up to the bike still to take care of the electrics to the uh, ignition while I tested for output from the alternator wires and the alternator wires through the regulator rectifier and again the light came on but it was dim the regulator rectifier was obviously cutting in because at tick over the light was bright and flickering when I revved it up a bit it dimmed and steadied but it seemed a little bit too dim for my liking so in my infinite wisdom I bought another one brand new which arrived today this is it and I wired this one in and guess what the same thing happened so I'd also ordered this. This is not an electronic ignition. This is another regulator rectifier. This one has a built-in capacitor. And I've had quite a lot of success with them in the past. So I decided I'd just connect that one up and see what that one did. And the engine started with no help from the battery charger. Now strange though it may seem... When the engine was running off the battery charger, the alternator running through this would light the bulb. And like, like I said, the bulb would brighten at tick over speed before this cut in. But try as I might, I couldn't get a cough out of it on the kickstart. Nothing happening. This one, first kick and off we go. We're in business. Now the only thing I can think of, where I previously thought 
my other one of these, I've got two of these now, was faulty. So I bought this one to replace it and then found out it behaved exactly the same. Looking through the instructions. What man needs to look at instructions? Hey, we all know what we're doing. Well, it just so happened I looked in the instructions and it mentioned a battery. And once you've wired this in, reconnect the battery. I looked in the instructions for the other unit I've got that's very similar. And likewise, that also mentioned the battery and reconnecting it. So, I can only assume that perhaps these only work properly when they're in circuit with a battery. However, these don't need a battery. And we're up and running, we've got plenty of volts, lovely big sparks, and uh, not a wire in sight leading to any remote power source. So, that could be food for thought. Anyone wanting to run with or without a battery can use one of these. If you want to run with a battery only, you probably get away with one of these. Um, but uh, I'm going to watch this space. The mudguard should be back in a couple of days and I'll be able to refit that and then the seat. And then we really will be able to possibly consider trying this thing out moving under its own power. But I feel like some real progress has been made today. And also I've learned something, or I think I have. Certainly... There's nothing wrong with the output from the alternator. As we saw there, we've got a first kick start. It's running nicely with that one. With this one, and no battery, no chance. But I, I've changed my mind now that I opened this one today, brand new out the box, and it did exactly the same as what I thought the faulty one did. Um, but obviously, I'd misread the situation, and they must need a battery to work in conjunction with them. But the sports cub, scrambles cub, whatever you want to call it, cub, has inched even closer to the day where we'll go roaring up the lane and unleash that full 14.5 brake horsepower on the world. And just in case anybody wants to know, I know that on the other side of the pond there's some guys working on something very similar. In this 376 monoblock carburetor, I have got a 25 pilot jet. I have got a 140 main jet, I've got a three and a half cutaway on the throttle slide and the needle is actually, it can only go down one more notch. I had it in the middle groove as you supposedly meant to, uh, but it had a little bit of lumpiness picking up from tick over. Lowering the needle seems to have got, away, got rid of that, so that's where I am and the old 7mm before top dead centre for full advance still stands as well. We've got brilliant oil circulation, everything, all the signs are looking promising for when we take off up the road and give it a blast. But uh, for now, I think that's everything updated and where we are at this point. So uh, until next time, over and out. <laughs>